according to all known laws of aviation. It's almost, it shouldn't be in the air, really. B-movie game, not B-movie the game, just B-movie game. So the time came to pick another piece of garbage to play for the sake of this wretched YouTube channel. When I heard there was a B-movie video game and I saw this image from it, I thought, yeah, that'll do. I'm sure this will piss me off to no end and give me more than enough to complain about. Life is good! But when I played the game, I discovered two facts. First being, this isn't the usual piece of shit I've come to expect from a mid-2000s movie tie-in game. The gameplay ideas and mechanics are actually almost good. The second thing I discovered was it is a completely broken mess, undermining any potential quality to be found. Let's just get into it. This is B-movie game. Well, get on with it, motherfucker. The game opens with a weirdly meta cutscene. There's even a video game. I hadn't heard about the video game. It's both challenging and entertaining. Yeah, we'll return to this statement to see how well these two claims hold up. Now, this first cutscene raises one of the biggest problems with B-movie game. There are just way too many cutscenes and they are too f long. This isn't Death Stranding. These cutscenes don't offer anything compelling narratively or cinematically. They're just there. Constantly. I hate it. F but anyway, the cutscenes are skippable, so it's not like it's the end of the world. What's the gameplay? Well, here's what I appreciate. The gameplay tries a lot of things. One minute you'll be catching honey in a tube, then you'll be flying around in a quick time event. Before you know it, you'll be pollinating flowers and then hot wiring a car GTA style. Yes, in B-movie game, every car in the hive is drivable. So if you see one you like, you step in front of it to slow it down, hop in, and it's yours. Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Anyway, I don't hate the core gameplay ideas here. A lot of this could be pretty fun, but unfortunately it is so unpolished, broken, and padded with an unbelievable amount of cutscenes, tutorial videos, and loading screens. For example, this entire section can be fully summed up as move the tube left to right, catch the yellow ones, don't catch the brown ones. That's it. That's all you need to know. Simples. Yet the game will pad it out with so much of this shit. Yeah, sure, this was fun enough while it lasted, but the minutes of time wasted surrounding it don't make up for the mild pleasure of catching the honey in the tube. What a sick joke! The quick time events have the same problem. They're not too broken because, well, they're quick time events. You press the button when it appears on the screen, it's impossible to f*** it up. I mean, I guess if I wanted to nitpick, Barry does just fly through things, but like, whatever. But the problem is, it's minutes of cutscenes and loading screens so I can what? Play a 30 second quick time event before you need to cut to another loading screen to get to the next one? My time is being wasted. What about the flying around pollinating section? Well, there's some big problems here. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Let's start with how inconsistent object models are. You'll constantly be going through things due to the sh controls and some surfaces simply not existing. Then you'll find yourself stuck underneath them like this. It's a very small area we're playing in. It shouldn't be that hard to make it somewhat polished. This section also has a mechanic called bee vision. When you turn it on, it's supposed to help you find the flowers that need pollinating. Unfortunately, it also highlights other bugs and all of these collectible hive things. So you turn it on to find a flower that needs pollination and there's just so much shit highlighted that it really doesn't help at all. In fact, it's easier to find what you want with it turned off. Mother f The driving controls are about as horrible and broken as you'd expect, but that's fine. It's B-movie game. It's never gonna control like Forza. The problem though is that the most fun driving you're supposed to have is when it's time to race. But the racing sucks because the course is practically a straight line and you're faster than the other drivers. So unless your controller runs out of batteries, you're pretty much guaranteed to streak so far ahead of the pack that it's not even fun anymore. What's the f Point. Which finally brings us back to this. It's both challenging and entertaining. Is it challenging? No. And I know I'm an adult playing B-movie game, but every single part of this thing is piss easy. And if I saw my child struggling to beat it, they'd be sleeping on the gravel in the driveway for the rest of the week. Is it entertaining? Uh... Maybe. I don't know. There's enough gameplay variety here, and whilst almost every section manages to pull it off pretty poorly, it does have enough variety for the gameplay itself to not become a total bore. If you skip all of the disgustingly long cutscenes, and ignore the fact that the game can't seem to manage more than two minutes of constant gameplay before needing to break it up with a loading screen. Overall, you know what? The movie game has many problems. It probably sucks. But that said, it is much better than a lot of the rubbish I've played for this channel. I don't know if I've 
just been beaten down by so many horrible games that I've lowered my standards to the point where I look at B-movie game and go, hey, it's not that bad. But you know what? Hey, it's not that bad. I'm done! You hear me?